Hey there, this is the One Boom, and I need you to imagine that you are a new Modern Warfare 3 player stuck in the middle of a heated match of uh, TDM. And instead of focusing on taking down the enemy team, you are stuck scrolling through menus trying to find the perfect combination of attachments and perks. It's a recipe for disaster. It's exactly what we're worried about with Gunsmith, right? Because if we're too busy tinkering with our guns, we're not going to be playing the game the way it's meant to be played. Let's be real. I mean, who doesn't love customizing their gear? But when it gets to the point that we're spending more time in the Gunsmith than we are on the battlefield, and that's the problem. The game is supposed to be about strategy, skill, and a little bit of luck, right? Not about who can create the most overpowered gun. The Gunsmith system has the potential to take away from the core gameplay experience, and that's what's been such a problem with games like Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and Vanguard and Cold War and MW 2019. Every game punishing you in various ways for picking attachments or having you pick too many attachments, having you in the menu for hours, not at one time, but throughout the life cycle of the game, in the menus for hours, customizing and tuning your weapons, and it just gets a bit tedious. So, going into Black Ops 6, we have a different issue. We have a bunch of attachments with zero cons. That works really well in a pick 10 system, but when it comes to gunsmith, and specifically a gunsmith that can have eight attachments equipped, this could be an issue. A lot of people are looking at it as a good thing. The lack of cons being a good thing is a... it's a respectable conclusion to arrive at. But when you think about it a little further, how does this affect our weapons? So back in the day when we had attachments that were just net benefits to our guns, we also had guns that worked really well on their own because we had the option to run them without attachments. Back in the MW2 or Black Ops 1 days, you had to use a perk to have more than one attachment. So oftentimes you just see a commando with red dot or a scar with a suppressor. In Modern Warfare 3, you had to use a weapon perk to have two attachments. So you'd see at most like a scar L with extended mags and red dot or ACOG suppressor or grenade launcher, whatever, you get it. The weapons being designed around that meant that they worked by themselves, which is great. Of course, you had perks that affected like things like flinch or aim down sight speed or aim walking movement speed, stalker, quick draw, hardened, you understand. But still, customizing the weapon didn't take forever and the weapon could be used completely naked without anything affecting it and it worked just fine. Now in Black Ops 6, they have to balance a weapon that can take up to eight pros. This is the problem without having any cons. You see, if you give me an AK-74 and say, throw eight attachments on this, they can only make it better, then the gun itself already has to be a little bit nerfed. And the wild card that lets us use three extra attachments is only going to be that much more enticing when it's only pros on your weapon. When every attachment sort of ushers your gun into a type of playstyle, instead of just giving it a net stat enhancement, then it's not as pressing to equip as many things as possible. Because if you have attachments that have no cons, you're not really customizing your weapon, you're upgrading it. And I think this is something we should be avoiding with Gunsmith. If this game only allowed us to have two attachments on our guns, or it was a pick 10 system where picking attachments took away from your perks, that'd be one thing. But instead, Creative Class in Black Ops 6 has a very FOMO-focused system, in my opinion. The con for using Perk Greed is not having Gunfighter, and the con for using Gunfighter is not having Perk Greed. The con of having the Suppressor is not having a Muzzle Break. The con of having the Extended Mag is not having the Fast Mag. And this is a very boring system that will lead us into just equipping the attachment that's best on that gun, and not even particularly best for our playstyle. Oh, so you unlock the aim down sight grip on the assault rifle that has the worst aim down sight time. Well, I'm guessing I know what you're going to be equipping then. Probably not the sprint to fire one. Oh, that assault rifle has high first shot recoil, but this other assault rifle has a high magnitude of vertical recoil. Well, I'm guessing you're going to use the vertical recoil muzzle brake on the high magnitude gun and the first shot recoil muzzle brake on the high first shot recoil gun. You see what I'm saying here? We're just going to equip the thing that's the best upgrade because there's no downside. We have an attachment here in Modern Warfare 3 that just got added called the Paracord Grip. The Paracord Grip does all of these bonuses you see on screen here and has no downsides. So why wouldn't I just throw this on? Why would I use a different grip? Like, obviously, if I need a different, like, set of stat changes, I'll probably use a different grip, but I can probably achieve the same thing 
that what the other grip's doing with a different barrel or muzzle brake, so it just kind of feels like I should always be running this foregrip. Then we also have a new suppressor called the Scratch 20, and the Scratch 20 only hurts your aim down sight speed by 1% and gives you aim firing stability, which is a very important stat, especially on the MW2 guns in this game. So it's kind of a no-brainer to use that suppressor, either that or the Shadow Strike suppressor that has no pros or cons, just does what suppressors do, keeps you off the minimap, which by the way, is the default suppressor in Black Ops 6. A suppressor that keeps you off the minimap and does nothing else to your gun, what? I guess it's kind of cool, hey, you want to run your gun more stealthy? You can't use any of the muzzle brakes, but you can then, you know, appear off the minimap. But the thing is, is each muzzle brake should at least have one con, so that maybe you don't just throw on the muzzle brake that's best for that gun. Do you see what I'm saying? If it, has, if it has a con, then it might stack with the other cons on your attachments, causing you to think about how your stock interfaces with your muzzle brake, how your rear grip interfaces with your magazine, how your magazine interfaces with your underbarrel, how your underbarrel interfaces with your optic or barrel choice. Do you see what I'm saying? If I don't have to consider what my stock does to my magazine, to my rear grip, to my underbarrel, to my muzzle brake, to my laser, if I don't have to consider the downsides stacking and potentially making my gun worse, I'm just going to use the attachments that are best, very rarely customizing into a different build that might play really well as well, but just isn't as optimal. There is going to be a set optimal build for each gun just like we've had in every Call of Duty, I guess. But the whole point of Gunsmith is that there adds this level of, yes, these are meta attachments, but you can also go outside. Have you ever met a woman? <laughs> Sorry. These are meta attachments, but there is room for playing around because those meta attachments still have cons and downsides, usually, and you might not want those stacking with a different attachment that will allow you to proceed with a different playstyle. This is so complicated, let me give you an example. If you want a really good aim walking movement speed assault rifle, and the meta attachments that everyone uses on that assault rifle, the meta thing the community uses, hurts your aim walking movement speed, it's not going to work out well. I just got done playing about three hours of ranked play, and the meta MCW doesn't really fit my playstyle because it doesn't help me strafe as fast as I want in gunfights. So, I went a little bit off meta, balanced my pros and cons a little differently, and I ended up with an MCW that, at least for my very low bronze rank, shreds. Just one example, I'm not saying this is tried and true, I'm saying that sometimes the meta isn't going to interface with how you want the gun to play. Whereas in Black Ops 6, oh, you want the aim walking movement speed increase? Just use the stock that does that. Don't worry about what foregrip you use, or suppressor you use, or what red dot you use, or what laser you use, or what magazine you use, or underbar- Don't worry, doesn't matter, because you picked the aim walking movement stock, and now you just are gonna be aim walking moving faster. See what I'm saying? At this point, it's not even gunsmith, it's just gun upgrade. You're just upgrading your gun, and eventually you're just gonna fall into using the upgrades that better align with that weapon's strengths or weaknesses. Now, now that I've been really negative, I, I am excited for this. I am actually excited for a system after playing MW 2019, Cold War, Vanguard, MW 2, MW 3. I am excited for a system that feels more like traditional COD attachments where you just add a bonus to your weapon. Because me telling you guys what the best builds are is just going to be me showing you guys the best attachments for that gun, the best attachments for niche playstyles, and then video fucking over. So, that is a little appealing to me, not because it's going to be easier to make the video, but because it's going to be a little bit more simplified, and maybe a little less tedious to customize our weapons. So basically this video is me saying, I don't like this, I think it could be a problem, um, this is not how I would design Gunsmith, but I'm kind of excited to see how it plays out, and seeing how Treyarch handles it would be kind of interesting. It'd be interesting if certain attachments got certain cons on certain weapons, like Maybe the aim walking movement speed stock on the XM4 is considered overpowered compared to an aim walking movement stock on the AK, so maybe the XM4 one will get a con that the AK1 doesn't. I don't mind that. I don't hate the idea of Treyarch adding cons to attachments instead of nerfing guns. That could be interesting. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Am I making a good point here or am I talking a bunch of bullshit? Tell me. I want to hear it. 
and I will see you when I see you. Goodbye. Oh, and if I sound like I'm talking really fast and I'm out of breath, I drank so much caffeine today <laughs> to get ready for my ranked play live stream. So I am a little bit fucking like, I, I'm tweaking over here, honestly. So see you when I see you. Goodbye.